Uh, it is about 3.30 a.m. The camera is having difficulties focusing. And that's the moon up there. You can't see it, but about to go up that hill. Okay, Chris and I have just left the campsite and we're on our way. There's a local railway track. Dawn is approaching, and I say we're about one third of the way up. There's been scrambling up this. We've got a bit more to go, but we're almost at the top. That's the sunrise, so... Okay. okay. We've made it up to the top of the ridge line, the moon on one side, sunrise on the other. That's our final destination up there. The one on this path. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, it's So we've come up about halfway, I'd say, no, maybe maybe about one third. But coming through this gate, found another one of these painted stones. So whoever you are, good work. These up here are amazing. If the camera will focus. Sunrise, 5.55, 25th of May, 2019, Edale Peak District. We've seen the sunrise, but we're not quite at the top yet. 
we still got these steps to yeah little Vegemite. Alright, on our back way down, the wind is not so bad here because we're shielded. But um, the views are stunning. The camera will focus properly. Okay, guys, there's a campsite a farm. And I'm trying to focus on my tent, which is right in the middle of the screen. This is small. I can't make it out. They see two. where we've walked from all the way up along there along here along the trail there's Chris trying to get out of shot <laughs> all the way up there and now we're on our way back Says P R I D. Bridal, bridal. It's a bridal way, isn't it? All oh, right. That's, I'm sure that's what they used to call the paths. Yeah. Bridles. And this side has got footpath. I tell you what. A, sorry, a bridal is where you walk your horses. I think actually. Yeah. I'd have to check, but I think yeah, I'm sure a bridal is. It's got footpath on this side. Oh, that's old, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We'll All right, we're up here in this beautiful nature spot, and people come up with their dogs 
and leave bags of dog shit behind. Like Chris was saying before, they go to the trouble of bringing plastic bags with them and then they just dump it here. It happens a lot and it's fucking disgusting. If that dog shit was this, you know, in out in the open, it would biodegrade really quickly. But now it's in a plastic bag and it'll be there for God knows how long. So any of you dog walkers out there, if you bring plastic bags to pick up your dog shit, take it home. Put it in a rubbish bin. Don't dump it in places like this. Alright. The junction where we've got to turn and we'll head back down. This is where accidents happen. Walking up this not as difficult as walking down. Give you extra support. Nineteen sixty. This track goes down, goes down towards that end. All right, you can see the. Uh, What's the call? Tractor as a scratching post. They're using a good old scratch, aren't they? Yeah. Alright, let's go home and get breakfast. <laughs> oh, I'm starving, I need something to eat. Then maybe have a, a nap. Back down in the valley. I don't go to the camera. It's not like it's a drop in water. Let's stop the cattle from walking up the stream. I get that, so yeah. feet would definitely be better. You know, walking around barefoot. But then you're still susceptible to injury, aren't you? Yeah. yeah.
campgrounds. That's the train that goes from Manchester to Sheffield. And we are back at the campgrounds. Time for breakfast. And people are still fast asleep because apparently last night it was a late one. There's lots of socialising, drinking and shenanigans. I've only seen about three people awake so far. Alright, kettle's on. Time for a brew. Alright, I've had my coffee, now it's time for breakfast. And the Helicon Tex bushcraft satchel, you know, for what you can put in it. Right, Chris, you're having. I'm using my new knife for cutting sausages, you know, it's nice and nice, isn't it? Oh well. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. What? You said a knife tonight. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how you do it. I don't care if you do it. Right. Uh, how many? Oh, oh Jesus. We should tell Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a look at a mask or something? Yes. Yeah. So, you, how, how do you make a mask? Well, it's a UV uh, film. Right. You can literally do it with a sun sun. Which is even for the print. They're not. Mike, he's a compressed. Yeah, that's a cam knife. So I go 4.7. Yeah. So that is literally for a good whack. Yeah. All right. I have done a few where people wanted it tricked out, and I put a swedge on the clip point. Mm -hmm. And then if you want a fire steel, then yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's such a what? mess. I can't film it when it's a mess. Um, excuse me. What would happen? Yeah. So he started off as a little hobby, and he just kept going and going and going. And sort of found that he could do different bits and pieces, and then. And what was the name of it on your Facebook? It's TB Wood Wood Turning. TB Wood Turning. Yeah. Right. <laughs> At least he puts his wife around on there. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Morning, Robbie. Morning, Rob. How can you tell it was me? Hey, How I could just about see you because of the sunlight. <laughs> but yeah, hey, I can see. Sunlight, I can see because of the glow around your neck. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, yeah. You, you've got somebody give you a scarf. <laughs> Do you want me to make you a fresh cup of tea? Can somebody give you a shim? Yeah. Oh. Nice camera. Oh, you yeah, my video last year. Might as well be in it this year. <laughs> yeah, I'm not falling for it this time. <laughs> I got video evidence of you from last year. <laughs> <laughs> 